علیہ الکریم اما بعد فاؤز باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شرح لی صدری ویسر لی امری وحل العقدتم من لسانی یفقہ قولی جز فورٹین سوت القرآن انگلیش وی آر ڈوئنگ شارٹ سمری ٹوڈے وی گنا کور سورت الحجر سورت النحل انشاءاللہ ویل سٹارٹ سورت الحجر فرم آئے نمبر فرسٹ آن ورڈ سورت الحجر ویل سٹارٹ دا نیو سورا الف لام را تل کا آیا تل کتابی و قرآن مبین روب ما یود الزین کفر لو کان مسلمین زر ہم یا کلو یا تم مت او و یل ہی ہم امل فصوف یا لمون الف لام را دیز آر دا ورسز آف دا بک اینڈ دا کلیئر قرآن پر ہیڈس دوز ہو ڈس بلیو ول وش دیٹ دی ہیڈ بین مسلمس ناؤ دے آر وشنگ روبما از لائک یو نو پر ہیپس ٹوڈے دے ریجیکٹ یو نو بٹ لیٹ رون وین دا ڈے آف قیاما دے ریگریٹ دیٹ دے ریپیٹیڈلی ول بی سنگ لائک یو نو پر ہیپس یو نو وی مائٹ ہیو ایکسپٹ دا اسلام اینڈ زر ہم یا کلو لیٹ دیم ایٹ اینڈ انجوائے دیم سیلفس اینڈ بی ڈائیورٹیڈ بائی فالس ہوپ for they they are going to know means you know here they are deluded they are thinking you know they are getting free will and they are doing whatever they want they thinks you know it's okay and they will be successful in the hereafter no it's not so they are deluded with this world and here in ayah number 9 we see indeed we who send down quran and indeed we will be its guardian wa innal hu hafiz hun So Allah will protect this Qur'an. We have seen like, you know, how the people are memorizing. It's in their hearts. If they burn, God forbid, if they burn all the Qur'an still in their hearts, even the small kids, they memorize the Qur'an. This is the only book which is memorized, you know, by Hafizah. But no other book can be memorized. That is, that is the mojiza, that is the miracle of the Qur'an. And we had certainly sent messengers before you, O Prophet ﷺ, among the sects of the former people. So every time messenger has been sent and they keep on denying it because of the takabur. وَلَقَدْ جَعَلْنَا فِي السَّمَائِ بُرُوجًا وَزَيَّنَّهَا And we have placed within the sky great stars and have beautiful it for the observers. So here there is a hadith, the Prophet ﷺ warned us that he said, if anyone acquires any knowledge of astrology, he has acquired a branch of magic, he has acquired a branch of magic, what is magic? Kufr. So of which he gets more as long as he continues to do so, meaning the people indulge in astrology and take interest and this is, is like a disbelieving and committing a shirk. And there will be punish for that. And Prophet ﷺ said when the stars are mentioned and they refrain, meaning when the people talk about the, that star is this thing and that. So Allah, Allah Rasul ﷺ said do not believe, it's a disbelief. And Prophet ﷺ said what I fear the most of the later part of my ummah are three things. Believing in the stars, denying denying divine decree and the oppressor of the ruler. These three things. And here, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in ayah number 20, we have made for you therein means of living and for whom you are not providers. Meaning, the provider for you in this earth and there are so many other creatures living on the earth that you do not provide for. Who provide for them? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provide. You know, have you seen the birds, how they go empty? in the morning and then they come in the evening with the uh, full uh, tummy, you know. وَأَرْسَلْنَا رِيحَ We have sent the fertilizing winds and sent on water from the sky and given you drink from it. You are not its retainers. Only Allah can give everything. And here in ayah number 27, And the jinn we created before from scrooching fire. And uh, in ayah number 29, And when I have proportionate him and breathed into him of my created soul, then fall down into him in prostration. 
so the angels prostrate all of them entirely except iblis again the incident of uh, adam and hawas alislam and the iblis how he refused to prostrate to adam alislam because why because of takabbur and he thinks himself he is something great and so allah uh, gave him time until the day of judgment and he was expelled and uh, iblis said he going to uh, delude the people except few of them who are very mukhlisin he won't be able to divert them so in ayah number 40 we learn in illa ibadaka minhum mukhlisin except among them your chosen servants so prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the devils flow in a person um, life as if like his blood you know he he runs in your body as a blood prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that the throne of iblis is upon the ocean and he sends detachment to different parts in order to put people to trial and he, uh, الا عبادك منهم مخلصين prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said about hazrat umar radhiyallahu anhu that indeed i see shaitan from among men and jinn running away from umar because he was such a strong person even jinn and um, shayatin they run away qala haza siratun ala mustaqim allah said this is a path of return to me that is straight and here we see further ay number 50 that is my punishment which is the painful punishment abu darda radhiyallahu anhu report that prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said there will come people among the muslims on the day of resurrection with a heavy sins as a mountain and allah will forgive them so we should keep asking allah subhanahu wa taala astaghfirullah wa atubu ilayh we should you know acknowledge our sins in secret to allah subhanahu wa taala and you know make sure that you won't repeat those sins again ibrahim al islam said what is your business here o messengers you know 50 i number 57 meaning you couldn't just come to give me good news here you know regarding the good news he has been given about uh, um, having the child so he was like uh, amazed after having good news he asked what is the next thing you came here then they said you know about the lut al islam and they they want to destroy the people of lut why because they they were homosexual and even though he got good news of isaq al islam but still he was concerned about the lut al islam people and he was uh, relative to and he we, here we see like you know wife of ibrahim al islam she said oh i am such an in old age is it possible but allah subhanahu wa taala said that's how it's going to happen so allah gave that good news so we should always rely on allah and allah can do any miracle so do not despair do not lose hope in allah so we took retribution from them and indeed both cities are on clear highway this is in ayat number 75 and certainly did the companions of samud uh deny the messenger here you know series of messengers came one after another and the people keep on denying them and some of the messengers they show the miracle they still they denied it and we have not created heavens and earth that between them except in truth and indeed the hour is coming uh, as forgive with gracious forgiveness beautiful forgiveness so here in ayah number 85 and we have certainly given you o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam seven of the often repeated verses saban masani what is that suratul fatiha and um, we have learned in the starting what is suratul fatiha and without the suratul fatiha we can't complete our sala and here in later we learn uh, in ayah number 91 who made the quran into portion those who separate the book that was given to them how they separate ibn abbas said those who have made their scripture into parts are the people of scriptures who divide it into portion and believed in a part of it and disbelieved in part so we are not supposed to do that and then declare what you command and turn away from the polytheist again you know rejection from the shirk no matter how beautifully they present but we have to reject the shirk 
and walaqad na'lamu in ayah number 97 and we already know that your breast is constricted but what they say because people you know keep on hurting Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam فَسَبِّ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ وَنْكُنْ مِنَ السَّاجِدِينَ So exalt Allah with praise of your Lord and be those who prostrate to Him. So here, do the sajda and do the zikr. And Prophet ﷺ said, Indeed, Allah has chosen four words. Uh, what is that? Allah Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Alhamdulillah, Subhanallah. So whoever says, Subhanallah, 20 good deeds are written for him. And twenty sins are erased for him. And whoever says Allahu Akbar, then the same. And whoever says La ilaha, it's the same. So we have to do the zikr. We have to do the uh, kasratul zikr. And vastainu sabri vassalat. We have learned in suratul Baqarah that you know we have to do sabr. And here wa abdu rabbaka hatta yatika. And worship your Lord until there comes to you certainly death until the death approaches you. So we start Suratul Nahal Bismillah Rahman Rahim and here in Suratul Nahal we learn so many beautiful things has been Allah has given the uh, you know Nema. This Surah is also called Nema because so many blessings has been mentioned and Nahal means honeybee and how the honeybee managed to get the honey and how she does the work through the Wahi by the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What is wahi? Here in this context, Allah commands the nahal. The command of Allah is coming. So be not impatient for it. What Allah has decided, it is decreed. Exalted is he and high above what they associate with him. Again Allah is saying not to do shil. He created man from a sperm drop. So man is made of sperm drop. We are made of like you know, a liquid thing. Then once he is clearly adversary, فَإِذَا qasimun mubim means then he becomes a clear arguing person, clear fighting person. Well, an qalaqaha and the grazing livestock he has created to you in the vomit. You know from grazing livestock we eat and we drink milk and also we use for the clothing also. And they carry your loads, a land you could not have reached except with the difficulty. You know, now we have cars and everything. But just imagine that time they have to embark on the, you know, cattle and they go from one place to another. And they carry out loads to land you could not have reached except with the difficulty yourself. Indeed, your Lord is kind and merciful. This is in Ayah number 7 and he created horse, mules, donkeys to ride. And here in this context there is a hadith. Prophet ﷺ he passed by a camel and he said that fear Allah regarding these mute animals. Meaning you know you can't overload that person, that animal or you don't give um, uh, something to eat. Like you know you are oppressing the animal you can't do that. Prophet ﷺ also said ride on these animals when they are sound. Sound means they are healthy and they are fine. Leave them sound and don't make them chairs for yourself. You know, you are making animal as a chair and you are sitting. And sometimes I notice like, you know, so many people are mounted on one animal. It's a zulm, you know, you are oppressing that animal. And you will be questioned about it in the hereafter. He caused to grow for you there by the crops, olives, palm trees, grape wines and from all the fruits. Indeed is a sign for the people who thought in Nafi Zalika La Ayati the Qawmi Yatafakkaroon. So here and then how Allah subjugated heaven and earth and how he makes everything to eat, how we uh, eat from the different plants and all those things were mentioned. And then he cast into earth firmly set mountains, how mo mountains are set firm and how the rivers and roads and landmarks by the stars they are also guided stars are for you know seeing in the night and you, you are guided doesn't mean that you know with the stars you're going to astrology or something no it's not so if you should count favors of allah you could not enumerate them indeed allah is forgiving and merciful in ayah number 18 allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clearly says if you start counting allah's favor you won't be able to do it those they invoke other than Allah create nothing 
they themselves are created in ayah number 20 ilahukum ilahu wahid your god is one god but those who did not believe in the hereafter their hearts are disapproving and they are arrogant people in ayah number 30 wa qila lil ladina taqu maza anzala rabbukum and it will be sent to those who feared allah what did your lord send down what is their response they say qalu khairan they will say that which is good qalu khairan means it is good that is what it has been sent quran lil ladina ahsanu fi hazihi dunya hasana for those do good in this world is good wal darul akhirat qair and home of the hereafter is better and how excellent is the home of righteousness and for them who work hard in this world for them is the darul akhira is also better and we certainly sent into every nation a messenger uh, and every nation when messenger was sent they were asked only one thing abdullah and worship allah avoid taghut and among them were whom allah guided and among them were upon they were uh, you know astray so proceed to the earth and observe who was the end of the deniers you know here end of the deniers means those who have uh, demolished and those who have uh, have the calamities because of the denial and you should take the ibra from that you should take the example from that and you know when you when you pass by such um, streets you have to pass very quickly because it is for the ibra for you and in here and we send not before you except men to whom we reveal our message so ask the people of message if you do not know this is in i number 43 later we see in ayah number 45 then do those do have planned evil deeds feel secure that allah will not cause the earth to swallow them you know they are planning evil and they are thinking that uh, allah won't punish them and that punishment will not come upon them from where they do not perceive allah is saying they don't even perceive but i'm going to bring the uh punishment so allah sirat you know prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in this uh, umma there shall be musk hasaf and qad collapsing of the earth disfiguring of the faces this is something that will become common a man said o messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam what is that he said when singing women music and drinking intoxicants spread these will be the sins and i number 49 and to allah prostrate whatever is in heaven and whatever is on earth and creatures and angel as well they are not arrogant the fact is that you know when a servant in the position of sujood his closest position he can be to allah subhanahu wa taala so prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the nearest a servant comes to his lord is when he is doing the sajda prostrating himself to make supplication in this state you know when we do sajda we are in a humble state and uh, make frequent uh, sajda this is you, you know a kind of humbleness and we do sajda only only for allah subhanahu wa taala and here further we learn in ayah number 58 when one of them is informed of the birth of the female his face become dark and he suppress and grief you know because of the female child they feel you know humiliated and in the olden period they used to bury live female child and uh, he hides himself from the pe- people because of the ill of which he has been informed of should he keep it in humiliation or bury in the ground unquestionably evil is what they decide you know now they are thinking whether to bury in the earth or whether to tell others they feel humiliated prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said do not dislike daughters for indeed they are friendly and worth importance so daughters are important you know if you have more than two daughters get them married properly and take care of them chastity so allah will be pleased with you and here we further learn in ayah number 61 if allah were to impose blame on the people of their wrong doing he would not have left upon earth any creature you know if our allah will catch hold that moment of time nobody will be there on the earth he differs them for a specified time you know he give them time 
and when their term has come they will not remain behind an hour or second they will precede it you know like allah is giving time and seeing like maybe they will turn or they will change but they don't then allah will catch hold of them in this world too prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said no place is decreed for someone to die in except that is made believed to him and there is some need of his place in it so he goes there when he goes there he dies there and we have seen you know many example people they live years and years in some place but when they go to some place because that was the place written for them and they will die after they go do they go there so it was like you know decreed allah has decreed what is in their uh, life uh, what has to be done and indeed for you in grazing livestock is a lesson we give you drink from what is in their bellies between excretion and blood pure milk palatable to drink so here just imagine you know if you see a buffalo black buffalo and you know how the white milk is coming out that's what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying within the bellies even the blood is there and you know other things but you see pure milk how it is palatable when you drink it you can able to swallow it it's not like you know it's very hard and you are not able to so as i mentioned before this is the uh, uh, surah about all the nemas prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said i know nothing that suffice in the place of food and drink other than milk so make it a habit you know this is a sunna drink milk prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam also said he who gives to another some silver or gold as a gift or a water container or he feeds him some milk meaning he couldn't find anything to give you just give some milk so this is so nice isn't it just give some milk this is in musnad ahmad and also we learn there are other uh, things then eat from all fruits and follow the way of your lord done for you so you know there are so many things here here we uh, here uh, like in a belly is a drink varying in colors which there is a healing for the people in ayah number 69 indeed is a sign for the people who give a thought here it talks about how the honey has been extracted pure clean and in different colors prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the example of the believer is like that of a bee honey bee it does not eat anything except good and does not produce except what is good so that's how the honey bees so a believer also should be doing everything good not like eating good and also making other people also giving other people also good and ibn abbas radhiyallahu anhu said healing in three things drink of honey and uh, you know uh, and also he said uh, to do the cupping is also uh, cure and caught rising with the fire but this was forbidden by prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so we have we have only two allowances that cupping and also the drinking of honey honey has so much benefits you know and you should uh, consume the um, khalis honey you know which is pure and which is not artificially made and it has lot of healing to you and the first thing in the morning if you drink it it has lot of benefits first of all it's a sunnah just make a intention because it's a sunnah i'm going to drink honey because it's a sunnah i'm going to drink milk that's the thing that's enough for us and allah present an example of two men one of them dumb and unable to do a thing while he is burden to his god guardian where he directs him he brings no good is equal to one who commands justice justice while he is on the straight path so who is better the idol that is dependent or god who is providing like allah is good so here you know comparison and contrast to show allah is the one who is one and the other deities which are not capable of doing anything and allah has extracted you from the wombs of your mothers not knowing a thing and he made for you hearing and vision and intellects that perhaps you would be grateful in ayah number 78 prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the first blessing man will be question about the day of judgment is that it will be said to him did i not correct your body for you and feed you cold water you know we will be asked even for the water sahaba they used to say even this dates and water we are drink are we um, answerable for this so rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said yes 
you're going to be answerable and look at our food look at our things you know we will be answerable for what we are using and what we are consuming they recognize the favor of allah then they deny it and most of them are disbelievers so prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said allah would say on the day of judgment o son of adam i carried you on the horse camels and had you married and gave you authority so where is the gratitude for this they will say yeah we didn't we were very little gra- we give very little gratitude so uh, prophet sallallahu there is one more hadith allah is pleased with his servants who say alhamdulillah while taking a morsel of food while drinking so always say alhamdulillah be thankful to allah subhanahu wa taala don't start complaining about the things you know and fulfill the covenant of allah when you have taken it o believers and do not break oath after the confirmation while you have made allah over you a witness indeed allah know what you do and if allah had will he could have made you of one religion he caused to astray home he wills and guide home he wills you will surely be questioned about what you used to do we will be questioned what we were doing and here in ayah number 100 his authority is only over those who take him as an ally and those who through him associate others with allah you know uh, shaitan has no power in this context there is a hadith we learned that prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said if there are three men in village or in desert three men uh, why is the desert mentioned in the village mentioned because there is no population over there no pop- no people are there they are alone so and pray is not offered by them together It means uh, do jama and shaitan will overcome so here we have we are appreciated to do the um, nama salawi jama and we certainly know that they say it's only a human being who teaches the prophet the tongue of the one they refer to it's foreign and this quran is in clear arabic language you know those prophets who came it has been revealed in their language so prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was speaking arabic so it was uh, revealed in arabic and here in further we see then indeed your lord to those who emigrated after they had been compelled to renounce their religion and thereafter fought for the cause of a land where patient was beru indeed your lord after that forgiving and merciful this is in ayah number 110 and further we see uh, we gave him good in this world and indeed in here after he will be among the righteous because of what because he was steadfast then we reveal to you o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to the follow the religion of ibrahim alaihi wasallam we reveal to you o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to follow the religion of ibrahim alaihi wasallam inclining towards the truth he was not of those who associate with allah because here ibrahim alaihi wasallam he believes in one allah wasbir and be patient o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam wa ma sabaruka illa billah and your patience is not but through allah in ayah number 120 Seven and here in ayah number one twenty eight, Inna Allah ma al-lazina taqo wal-lazina hum muhsinin. Indeed, Allah is with those who fear Him and those who do good. So we should also try to fear Allah and do at most good. We have to be muhsin. Subhanakallahumma bihamdika. Nashadu Allahi lahilantanastakfirkan.